I'm a huge fan of legumes and pulses. Think chickpeas, dried kidney beans, dry cannellini beans and borlotti beans. And they usually come in this form. They're readily available and they take a while to cook. But at the market this morning, I was very excited to find some fresh beans. You can see how speckled the outside of them are. And as you break into them, just like you would a pea, you want to break into it and you'll see the beautiful little beans inside. Sometimes they're greener, whiter, or when they're at their best, they're speckly just like that. See that purpley distinct speckle? That is a true Bortolotti bean. So I want to show you how to prepare them. You want to just take out all the little fresh beans, pop them into a bowl. You don't need to soak them because they are fresh. We'll place them into a pot. And then we can add some flavours to it. A few bay leaves, a little thyme if you have, three cloves of garlic, just peel them, and one tomato. I'll just cut the tomato in half. And we'll just place that in. You could also add some leek, celery and some carrot. So to this I'll also add some water. You want to cover them completely in water and I'll season them at the end. So the heat goes on, it's going to come up to the boil, then I'll turn it down to a simmer, and they're going to cook for about 45 minutes or until they're really creamy. The flavour is just second to none. I love these. All right, these have been cooking for about 50 minutes and they are so soft. Best way to check, well, just use a slotted spoon and if they break up in your fingers just like this, oh, you know that they're ready. Creamy, creamy goodness. Now you can see that the colours change slightly as they've cooked. I haven't seasoned it yet, so a good pinch of salt. Always season these at the end as opposed to at the beginning because it can make them slightly tough, even the fresh ones. So we're going to serve this the way that I simply love, just in a bowl. And don't throw away this liquid, it makes a great soup. So you want to make a pumpkin soup, freeze the Bordelotti water here, put it into the soup, it makes it really creamy and it thickens it up slightly. A little hint of vinegar. So I've got some balsamic and really good quality extra virgin olive oil, something that's slightly peppery over the top. And that right there is a simple, beautiful thing, creamy, nutty, lush. Serve it with some baguette or some bread that's been toasted. Serve it with a roast. They are super versatile and they're also really good for you. Bordelotti beans, fresh ones, give them a go.